Joining me now, Senator John Barrasso, who has uh, presumably been watching this all along. What do you make of uh, Boehner's comments? Pretty emotional. Well, and I'm proud of uh, the speaker. I had a chance to visit with him around noontime today. He has been working very hard, and he knows as well as you and I and your viewers that we need to cut the spending now. We need to control spending in the future, and we need accountability always. And what we're seeing with the, the speaker's proposal is it actually provides those sorts of things. Harry Reid's proposal does not. But, Senator, when you look at this proposal as it has been changed, you see that things have been introduced into this to get Tea Party support that could mean that it would never pass the Senate, especially the balanced budget amendment. Are you in favor of that? Do you think that's a good idea at this time? Well, you know, the president talks about a balanced approach. We need a balanced budget. And the only way we're going to get a balanced budget in this country is with a balanced budget amendment to the Constitution. There's been so much made, Jerry, of the debt limit increase. The threat is actually the debt. The fact that we're spending for over 40 cents of, of every dollar that we spend is borrowed money, a lot of it from overseas, significant amounts from China. How do you stay? a great and powerful nation when you owe that kind of money to a foreign power, one who does not necessarily have your own best interests at heart. So we need to get the spending under control by cutting the spending now and then by controlling that spending in the future. But Harry Reid's proposal is one, I think, with a lot of accounting gimmicks. Well, I think everybody agrees on that, a lot of accounting gimmicks. But Senator Barrasso, when you look at this plan that Boehner has put forth, it's clear it's not going to pass the Senate. So why bother? We're facing an August 2nd deadline. Why not move forward with something that maybe the Senate Republicans and Democrats could climb on board with? Why is this process necessary? The House is going to pass a, a bill tonight, I believe. They have passed a bill in, in, the, in, in the past. They, that's what they're supposed to do, send it to the Senate. And then I would love to see the Senate pass it. Harry Reid has spoken up uh, against it, but Harry Reid doesn't have even full uh, support of his bill from his own side of the aisle. The president has been absent in this. Even the New York Times yesterday said the president is on the sidelines. The president should have been more actively involved. We are the greatest nation in the history of the earth, and, and we're looking at the possibility of a default in just four days, and the president is absent. Uh, you know, I think it, it's, it's absolutely unconscionable that he would be doing this. Senator, what goes on behind closed doors? Are you guys talking to House Republicans? Is there a way forward after this? How do we possibly meet this August 2nd deadline? Well, you know, what, uh, what the Speaker had come up with initially was something that, that Harry, Harry Reid and, and, and Mitch McConnell and the Speaker had agreed on a week ago. And then the President said no, which I believe was, was a mistake and, again, a lack of leadership by the President. Uh, you know, I want to make sure that we do a couple of things, and, 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 the, and what I have, what I'm concerned are, my priorities are avoiding, uh, avoiding default, and actually cutting spending. What the president said, his number one, his only bottom line, he said, is raising the debt ceiling to get him beyond the election in 2012. And I think it's time for the president to put the country ahead of his election efforts in 2012. To me, this is just the first round in a 15-round fight of actually trying to cut spending and controlling the spending. That's the way we have to deal with this incredible debt, this $14 trillion that we're putting onto the backs of, right. of, of, of currencies, but our, but our kids and grandkids as well. Senator Barrasso, thanks uh, for being with us on this very dramatic afternoon. Appreciate your time. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Jerry. Great to be with you.